Welcome to the BFF Report. I'm your host, Mike B.A.K. Phony. Today's game is going to be Bloodline Champions, the game from Stunlock Studios and Funcom. Uh, before we get started, though, I just want to apologize. I know things look a little funky around here. Don't quite look like they normally do. And there's a good reason for that. I'm moving. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and break down the menu navigation system. It's called the Blood Gate, and it's not the most original layout we've ever seen, but at the same time, it's not like anybody's trying to break records or anything, so I guess it's not really a big deal. The menu puts you about a click and a half from doing pretty much anything in the game. You can join a skirmish, join a ladder game, view the ladder rankings, view your own rankings, add friends, talk to your friends, tell people you like cookies, and you can even go through the tutorial. In this tutorial, you will be taught the basics of arena combat. Use your fireball to slay these five targets. There are four different class types, melee, ranged, healing, and tanks, and each champion has a handful of basic abilities that typically include a basic attack, a strong attack, an AoE, etc. Now, if you haven't heard of this game, you're probably thinking, oh great, another Dota Heroes of New Earth League of Legends clone. Even I thought that when I first got in. Turns out, you're... you're half right. Yes, you have little champions that you pile around. Yes, there is an account level progression system, sorta. No, there isn't an in-match progression mini store. And the biggest no of them all, it's not for clickers. That's right, the biggest thing setting this game apart from all the rest is the fact that you actually have to aim at your target with the mouse. That means no RNG. You actually have to aim at the person when you cast something. And if it misses, guess what? It misses and it was your fault. It's all skill, assuming you count being a, you know, boss-ass mouse wielder or skill. There are three different game types currently in play. Capture the Artifact, Conquest, and Straight Arena. Unfortunately, I couldn't get anyone to do any Capture the Artifact type games, as beta wasn't exactly as bustling as I'd hoped it would be at 3 a.m. in the morning. But rest assured, it probably involves capturing a flag type item. Conquest usually takes place on larger maps and consists of coordinating your team to maintain control of several nodes spread throughout the map. And like any game type that isn't just a Hulk smash bad guys theme, these are exceedingly awesome when playing with randoms. Arena mode is straight up team deathmatch and usually lasts between 2-4 to four minutes per round. And just like in other PvP arena type instances, class configuration plays a strong part of your team's success. However, since the game doesn't rely on RNG, you can compete with a less desirable team composition and still come out on top if you can outskill your competitors. Now let's get a bit more involved with the handling of your character. First off, a lot of you will probably be turned off by the fact that you have to control your character using the WSD keys while simultaneously hitting 1-4 through four for your other abilities. Thankfully, your two primary attacks are already bound to the left and right mouse button, and if you're any type of gamer, at the bare minimum you have at least 40 unnecessary keys on your mouse, so why don't you go ahead and just rebind all those. Honestly, it's probably going to take a few games to get the hang of the gameplay style, and beyond that, it's really all about managing your skills and using them appropriately. Also, before we go any further, there are two different camera modes. There's the fixed camera mode, which is pretty much garbage. Then there's the free roam bungee cam that's considerably better. Honestly, I can't even really think of a good reason why the fixed option is even in the game. During the match, your damage output translates into energy gained. When you hit 100 energy, you get access to your ultimate ability. This ability differs from champion to champion and does an epic butt ton of damage, so be sure not to waste it. Besides your offensive skills, each character has one or two defensive powers. Some of them stone themselves in to absorb an incoming attack, and others use stealth or some kind of teleport ability. Since the game is all about using proper aim, it makes sense that mastering your avoidance techniques is equally as important. So at this point, you guys are probably like, but Phony is the game worth $29.99. First of all, let's go ahead and just squash some of these rumors. It's not just $30. It ranges from free to Titan, which is basically a limited four champion on rotation $0 account to a $90 behemoth that includes a lifetime VIP membership. The free option allows the accrual of what's called blood coins, and blood coins are used to purchase skins and other characters. So don't think that because you're getting a free account that you're totally locked out of everything. You just got to continue to play the game. Outside of the ladder system, there really isn't a ton of layers to the game, which, depending on how you view it, could be good or bad. You can say that it's a one-trick pony targeting a narrow demographic and lacks in depth and replayability, or you can say that it's a massively online battle arena that has a skill-based combat system and doesn't have all the absurd amounts of frills and unnecessary progression trees and cheesy in-match leveling system. I personally am drawn to the game's get-in, get-action, get-out style, but having only played several dozen matches, I can't predict it being a game that I would continue playing, let's say, a month from now. Then again, I play a new game like every week, so my game's ADHD is pretty much...